In this video, we're going to focus on thermochemical equations. So what exactly is a thermochemical equation? It's a chemical equation that relates the amount of thermal heat that can be absorbed or released. So what you need to understand is the relationship between the coefficient and this number. So for example, if four moles of iron metal reacts in this reaction, negative 1652 kilojoules of heat energy will be released. If three moles of oxygen gas is consumed in this reaction, the same amount of heat energy will be released. And if two moles of iron three oxide is produced in this reaction, the same amount of heat energy will be released. So you need to understand the relationship between this amount of thermal energy and the moles of the reactants and products. So now let's focus on this problem. Iron metal reacts with oxygen gas to produce iron 3 oxide, according to the reaction shown below. How much heat is released when 9 moles of Fe reacts with excess oxygen gas? So let's start with what we're given, and that's 9 moles of Fe. Our conversion factor is that 4 moles of Fe will generate 1652 kilojoules of heat energy. So we want the unit's moles of Fe to cancel. So we're going to put that in the bottom and put negative 1652 kilojoules on top. So these units will cancel. And so the answer is going to be 9 times 1652 divided by 4. 3,717 kilojoules of thermal energy will be released if 9 moles of Fe reacts. So that's the answer to part A. Now, let's move on to part B. How much heat is released when 24 grams of O2 is consumed in the reaction? Well, let's find out. So let's start with what we're given. That's 24 grams of O2. So if you're given a mass, what you need to do is you need to convert the grams to moles using the molar mass found in the periodic table. And then using the thermochemical equation, you can convert moles to kilojoules. And so that's what we need to do in this problem. So oxygen has an atomic mass of 16. Therefore, O2 is going to be 16 times 2, which is 32 grams per mole. So now that we have the moles of O2, we can use the fact that 3 moles of O2 would generate that amount of heat energy. So I'm going to put 3 moles of O2 on the bottom so that the unit moles of O2 will cancel. And then 1652 kilojoules on the top of the fraction. So it's 24 divided by 32, which is 0 0.75, times 1652 divided by 3. So it's negative 413 kilojoules of thermal energy. So that's how much heat will be released if 24 grams of O2 reacts in this chemical reaction. Now let's move on to part C. How many grams of iron 3 oxide will be produced if 4,500 kilojoules of heat energy is released? So this time, we're given the amount of kilojoules. We need to convert it back to moles and then to grams. So let's start with what we're given, and that is 4,500 kilojoules. And because this energy is released, it's negative. Now we can convert from kilojoules to moles using the fact that 2 moles of iron 3 oxide corresponds to 1652 kilojoules. So negative 1652 kilojoules will be released when two moles of iron oxide are produced. So now what we need to do is find the molar mass of Fe2O3. 
So we have two Fe atoms and three oxygen atoms. So the atomic mass of iron is 55.85. And for oxygen, it's 16. 2 times 55.85 plus 3 times 16. That will give us a molar mass of 159.7 grams per mole. So one mole of Fe2O3 has a mass of 159.7 grams. So now it's going to be 4,500 times 2 divided by 1652. And then take that result, multiply it by 159.7. So the answer is about 800 and 70 grams of iron oxide. So make sure you know how to convert between grams and kilojoules when you're given a thermochemical a problem like this one. Now let's move on to this problem. Propane reacts with oxygen gas to produce carbon dioxide and water as shown in the reaction below. How much energy in kilojoules will be released if 500 kilograms of propane is burned in the air. So we're given the kilograms of C3H8. We need to convert it to grams and then use the molar mass to convert it to moles and then use the equation to convert it to kilojoules. So let's start with 500 kilograms of propane. Now one kilogram is equivalent to a thousand grams. And the molar mass of propane, C3H8, it's going to be 3 times 12.01 plus 8 times 1.008. So you should get this number. So I'm going to put one mole of propane on top, and on the bottom, 44.094 grams. And the substance is C3H8. Now, notice the ratio between C3H8 and the 2221 kilojoules. So the coefficient is 1. One mole of propane will yield 2,200 and 21 kilojoules of heat energy. So now we're going to multiply 500 by 1,000 and then divide that by 44.094 and then multiply it by 2,221. So you should get 2.52 times 10 to the 7th power kilojoules, and it's negative. So the exact answer is about 25,184,832 kilojoules. Now what about part B? How many kilograms of propane is needed to generate 5 megajoules of energy if the process is 40% efficient? So we need to generate 500 megajoules of energy. And 40% of the energy that's released will be in its usable form. The other 60% will be lost maybe due to heat or something. It could be lost as friction, it could escape into the environment, but only 40% of the energy that's going to be released, that's the amount that we're going to capture and do something useful with it. So how much do we need to begin with? So 40% of what number is 5? To find that answer, you have to take 5 and divide it by 40%. So 5 divided by 0.4 is 12.5. So we need to determine 
the amount of propane that we need to burn to generate 12.5 megajoules of heat. Once we generate that amount of heat, we can capture 40% of it, which represents 5 megajoules. The other 60%, which is 12.5 times 0.6, that's going to be lost to the environment. So that's going to be waste energy. So we need to convert this value to kilograms of propane. So let's start with 12.5 megajoules of energy. Now before we can use this number, we need to convert megajoules into kilojoules. One megajoule is equivalent to a thousand kilojoules. So now that we have the energy in kilojoules, we can convert it to the moles of propane. So for every 2,221 kilojoules that we have, one mole of propane needs to be consumed. So now let's convert moles of propane into grams. So the molar mass was 44.094 grams per one mole of propane. Now the last thing we need to do is convert grams to kilograms. So there's a thousand grams per kilogram. And so that's it for the conversion. So now all we got to do is just plug in the values that we have. So it's going to be 12.5 times a thousand divided by 2221 multiplied by 44.094 divided by 1000. So this is going to be 0.248 kilograms of propane. So that's how much kilograms of propane that we need to burn in order to generate 5 megajoules of energy if the process is 40% efficient.